Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can actually go about putting a um, this onto your own main URL. Not a subdomain of URL, but the actual main URL. Um, so you'll see that I'm logged into my GoDaddy account and then I'm also logged into a test account that we have here at Reputation Loop. Um, and you'll want to click on the admin tab and scroll down and you'll see create your own URL. If you click on that button and you click on the little question mark it shows you the options right here as to how you would go about doing that. Um, so in order to set your main domain which is basically www.mysite.com whatever that may be you need to update the A record. So this is the IP address of our service so I'm gonna grab this IP address and just copy it right now and I'm gonna go back over to GoDaddy and this is pretty similar for all the different types of um, registrars out there and DNS settings in GoDaddy they have settings and then the DNS zone file here so you'll click on the DNS zone files and at the top you'll see that they've got the A, the A record right here at the host and so by changing this, this is actually gonna point the entire website, the seoseattle.org over to this new domain or excuse me our server to be able to set that up so I'm just gonna click on the edit record and I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm gonna drop that down to as low as possible um, and I'm just gonna click on finish and then it will ask me to save my changes so now what I'll do is I'll just put this in the browser and show you that I don't think it's going to anywhere right now um, yeah so basically there's nowhere it is going and or it's going somewhere that doesn't exist <clears throat> we're gonna come back here and just type in this and we're actually gonna put www dot for that remove that backslash so that we've just got www dot seattle or seo seattle dot org and we're gonna press submit and what the uh, software is doing right now it's actually going out and checking to make sure that the actual www.scoseattle.org is in fact pointing to our servers before it makes any of the updated information. Once it's realized that it's actually pointed that information over to the servers itself, it's now going to basically make sure that it's going to set up all of the settings inside of your software properly so that now you can use it on your own URL. So I'm going to pause this real quick until it's done. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Okay, so now that it is actually completed, you can see that up here in the URL we've got Seattle, or excuse me, seoseattle.org, and this is the agency login right here, forward slash public, forward slash agency, forward slash index. So this is where you would put in um, your credentials to get back into your system. If you have any issues getting back into it with the new updated URL, just go ahead and send in a support ticket at support at reputationloop.com. But that's pretty simple, straightforward as to how you would go about updating your main domain name to the actual site itself. Uh, again, if you have any questions, send in a ticket to support at reputationloop.com. Thanks again.